G'day guys, Chewy here and welcome back to some more coverage of Heroes of the Storm where today we're going to do some coverage of Muradin, the melee warrior class and also quite a, quite a mean tank might I add and I hope you're going to really enjoy this video and a bit, of a bit of a showcase on what you can do with Muradin when you jump into Heroes of the Storm. Let's do this. Ready for action. Choose a talent. Alright guys, welcome back. King Muradin, time to go. Alright, I think we're gonna go... Well, I am, I am I'm pretty much a tank class, but I'm also quite good at stunning a lot, so that's that's probably a key thing of Muradin. I better go over the skill set, so I'm, I'm gonna go for the Return Stormbolt, and I'll talk about that in a second. Um, so we do get mounts of this class, so that's good. We've got the Raging Pony, as usual. Um, the first skill that we get with Muradin is Stormbolt, which is basically a skill shot move that allows you to throw your hammer, deal some damage, and also stun the enemy. Um, obviously went for an increase, so we get a return of mana on it, which um, really does assist with throwing more Stormbolts. The second ability, which is Thunderclap, is like our AoE, which also applies a slow to the enemies. And of course, the third skill is Dwarf Toss, which is basically like a like a dive-in ability, which allows you to stomp in onto, onto the enemies and inflict some damage. As for the trade ability, he gets Second Win, which allows him to regenerate 10 health per second when I've not taken damage for four, four seconds. And also, when below 30%, this increases even further, further to 31 HP on. per second, obviously tears with your level. So I'm, I'm thinking that it's too top, obviously, it's someone in this in this bush here. Well, no, no, they're not. I just went for the die for no reason. But that's okay, so we're just going to go for a couple of little claps here. We're going to we're gonna go for a stun on him. We're just going to do a little bit of damage, a bit of harass. And and we're versing the mighty Fausted. Alright, that's fine, that's cool. You can, you can push, pal. He, he is quite good at pushing this character here, like he does have a little arsenal of AoEs and damage, so... I'm probably not going to be too silly here, but I will just do a quick jump in there. Quick stun, I'm going to slow him, and then I'm just going to run like the wind. You know, I think I'm going to I think I'm going to grab some health. This guy's doing a bit of a number on me. Yeah, he's running now. So obviously he's there. Whoop! <laughs> oh, run, pal. Oh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. He's got me, he's got me lined up. And no, he doesn't. He runs back. So I'm just going to chill out for a bit. I'm going to wait for that regen to kick in. And I think I'm just going to stop on these guys when they get nice and close. There we go. Just a good damage there. Alright, so obviously let's go for the scenario. So I guess I'm only at level 1. The sort of build I'm going to go for is... Ooh, was that a, was that a stealth character? Have we got any stealths against us? Oh, no, we don't. No, no, that's cool. I'm just seeing things. So if, if no one's going to come help me, I'm just going to do it by myself, which I really shouldn't be doing. But if they're not coming, I'll just go for the seed by myself. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. <laughs> come on. Oh, they got bottom. They got a bit of a fight going on, so I'm just gonna chill here and collect some seeds. I really should probably go help my team, so I might just I might just kill this guy and then go get some seeds. That's, you know, I might just I might just get help. Because we did lost one then. Uther, Uther is in his little death form, which allows him to roam around and do some more skills and assists. Um, I'm not gonna go for the tankiness. I'm probably gonna go for the every third ba basic attack stance. I mean, that's fantastic. I'm just going to do a little bit of AoE here. This should really complement the build I'm going for. So I'm going for a bit of a... A bit of a... I guess a crowd control tank. I guess that's the way I'm going to build this guy. Crowd control tank. Every third skill stunning the enemy. That That is just absolutely great. That's just what I need. The Skullcracker. That's perfect. So let's go check here, Barbie, because I, I think I'm pretty sure Fausted's around here somewhere. So it looks like we've got a bit of a team fight bot. Let's go let's go sort that out. I only really want to do that for the health globe, so let's let's jump in there. Barbie's going for another going for another one. I guess we'll just help Barbie then. I guess we'll just help Barbie. And you can see there every third basic attack, I'm getting that little stun in there which really assists. And once we get a heroic ability, it's really gonna complement the the passives that I get with that as well. Okay, alright pal, no worries. I'm going away. <laughs> Maybe I should have stayed with you, Barbie, because I just got butt raped. <laughs> I just got butt raped hard. They, they they own that quite well. They're they're six seats away from getting from getting the the scenario on us, which isn't a good start. I think I think we should we should take we should take top one. We should take that top tree as quick as possible. If not, I think what we really need here is a team fight win. 
uh, six seats away, they're obviously going to charge in for this. They can see Nova's shadow in there. And they've got an Illidan. They've got, they've got some of it. We should back it just a little bit there. We do need our Barbie. We, we do need you all to... Oh god, Barbie's not coming. Get the stun in there. Oh no, they... Oh, oh, they're three away from it. Oh crap. They got it. They got it. That's okay. I'm a bit tanky. I can take a bit of damage to the face. But, um, you know what? We're, we're in a bit of trouble here. We're in a bit of trouble here, guys. Our team just seemed to be really focused on... I'm going to go for the increased movement speed. I don't really have much of a escape plan right now. Uh, I think we're in a little bit of trouble. The infested will return again. Maybe they're corrupted there, but they've got they've got what they needed from us. I think I'm just gonna back. I'm just gonna back. You know, it's not good. We need to. We need to defend that guy. We need to defend mid guys. I, I, I applaud these guys for going for all the the creeps, but we've got a bigger problem right now. I'm just gonna try and throw some hammers around. I seem to be missing a fair few of my hammers. Which isn't good. I know, I know we're getting a lot of the cans, which is great for the, for the push, but we're really missing out on some crucial opportunities here. I'm just, I'm just going to try to segregate them a bit if I can, and even if I can keep them keep them away from away from the team and, and really damaging my face, that's fine. I'm quite happy with that. I mean, the, the main thing is to really disable this guy's ability to use use that big boy to his advantage and we seem to be doing not too bad now. I'm going to have to back though, I'm, I'm almost dead. And I think I've been applied a poison which is not good. And I think, I think just then our second wind saved us from dying from a poison debuff. I, I mean, geez, wow that really did kick in and save the day. Uh, we're not doing too well in terms of pushing, like uh, I know Barbie was really fond of going for the mercenary camps but honestly I think the team fight focus would have done us a lot better. All right, let's get in there. What have we got? Okay, so they're going for some more creep pushing. That's okay. Let him come for my face. We need to... All right, so Barbie's straight back onto the camps. I don't know if this tactic's working. I mean, they're getting quite a strong push on us, which is not good. You know, like, I get what Barbie wants to do, but, you know, this isn't, this isn't Dodo. You can't just... You can't just survive off... Off the, off the forest, it just won't work, you know. And now, and now they're getting too much camps. Is I mean, getting camps is good, but too much camps is bad. Too much camps is really bad. So I'm just trying to trying to see if I can get some more damage on that face. Took a fair bit then. I've got the avatar ability, which is our heroic ability has been unlocked. Now I'll talk about what the heroic ability does. There's no point us going in there. And their the fairy dragon did went for the aggressive um, heroic ability as well. So basically, what Avatar does is it's an increase, like a buff. I'll use it now. And what it does is it makes it every every attack that we do stuns our enemies, have increased health, and also we just become basically a beast, a tanking beast. But obviously, complementing that stun with the other one, we've constantly got an ability to keep the enemy stunned. So while you're in this form, you pretty much want to you want to get as much push as you can as much advantage on that push as you can and I think we did quite well on that one in, in that regard anyway so I'm just gonna jump backwards now and, and geez there's no Soro's gone in for the hit well, I should say Noro uh, sorry Nova's gone in for the hit quite hard there we almost got the little dragon it's a pain in the ass hopefully if I can just keep some of this tower tanked no we need to go for the shamblers now we've got we've got a fair few of them here, so I'm going to try going to try run in there and do something. Even if I can keep this guy stunned, I mean, oh god! If I can just save my dragon, that'd be nice. And I've got the the speed boost, so at least when I do the do my dwarf toss, I can get out of there. Yeah, yeah. you should go back, pal. I'm okay. Like I said, we've got that trait, which gives us that, that healing ability, which keeps us a little bit more... Keeps the survivability up, but right in terms of pushing, we really need to start taking these seeds. Nova's really keeping an eye on them, which is good. 
jeez, I missed another. Jeez, I'm just doing bad with these hammer throws today. I'm gonna see if I can get that 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 stun applying on the Illidan over there. And, and, oh, here we go. Come on, come on, pal. Come on. Oh no, there you go. Come on, we really need to take advantage of this. I'm just gonna have to run now. <laughs> I've got not enough mana to really be handling these guys. We've seen a few ults coming our way from Bowser. That's his. That's his heroic ability. That's coming flying through there. I'm gonna have to. God, kind of these siege guys sneaking through our base. That's all kinds of bad. We're gonna have to take these guys out. And we're really losing. We're losing a lot of momentum here against really taking these plants. So, Barbie, that's it. We just need to kill those. We need to keep them off the trees. Really, come on, Barbie. Me and you, pal. Me and you. We should. We're not probably the best classes to sit here and duo this bad boy, but my god, we're gonna have to. I'm gonna grab some of these seeds. Good on you, Barbie. Nova's down. It looks like they could have really used his bottom, but uh, I'm sort of tired. You know, we're we're not doing really well against their team fights. Yeah, we, we sort of let them get too much advantage, I believe, at the start, when we we're, were a little bit too focused on the camps. We should have really went for the, the objective. We're going to go for the healing ability, so when we've done the clap now, we do get a heal applied to us as well, depending on how many people we hit. So I guess it's really going to complement that jump in there and attack sort of build. Uh, and I think, yeah, I think that's quite what we're going to go for here. We're fairly limited at level 1, which, which way we can go with our builds, but honestly, I think, I think we're in there enough. We're just not surviving the onslaught, so... Yeah, I'm gonna half back. I'm definitely gonna half back. Uh, who's getting it? Who's gonna get it? My children. Barbie's getting it. Cool. That's cool, Barbie. I think we should push mid. Your enemy has spawned. So we got a terror on terror, and Barb Barbie's going top. Nicely. Barbie's going top. All right, so I'm just gonna have to try keep this guy distracted. Yep, oh my god. Where is everyone? So I need to take that down, that needs to go. Too late. <laughs> I need to run now. See if I can keep this guy baited on me. See if I can just keep that stun lock going. Just a, just a raging little pig right now. Keep him stunned, that's it. I mean, I'm just really trying to absorb as much of that damage as I can. I'm going to have to go up to the tree, because the tree's going top. And I can't let him just take out our top base like this. No, I'm going to have to go in here. I realize I'm probably not going to be able to do much against this tree. Not a 1v1. I'm biting off a lot more than I can chew, but it doesn't mean I'm not going to try. I'm just going to try, and, and, and if I can at least get this alliteration of, or this version of the tree down, I can at least, you know, maybe hit with my ability it might even help too. And that, obviously, that every third a third attack there is complimenting, and he's he's running away. I need my toss before I can really. Oh, damn you, Illidan! So, uh, oh my god. Illidan, okay, so Illidan went for that build, that's fine. I'm just gonna try to keep him stunned. So now, now we definitely have to back. We, we can't take out all of those guys in one hit. We should just back. Nova, hopefully, he's got the escape there. But it didn't look like it worked out, didn't work out too well for her, unfortunately. But hat off to Barbie. Hat off to Barbie in that one. He, he did. Uh, he did a pretty even push. If not, he, he got a fair bit of damage done on their fort, so he did quite well. He did quite well. Um, obviously, Uther, Uther is going for the, the creep camp down there. It's a pretty risky move going that deep. Pretty risky. I'm going to go for full mana before I go in there, and um, I think I'm going to have to defend that, guys. I don't think we have much choice here. And sometimes, you know, sometimes a good defense is a good thing. And the nightfall is coming. I want them not to have as much advantage on the push as possible. So I'm going to have to go for this. So for the next talent, we're going to go for we're going to go for stuns. So basically, we've got two stuns now. 
an AoE stun, which is even better. And of course, we've got our skill shot stun as well. So I'm just going to go for some slams here. So um, now I'm in a fair bit of trouble, guys. Hopefully I, I can escape in time. Illidan, of course, is going to jump over my face. Which, which is not good. Which is not good at all. Just going to go for some of this jump in and, jump in and AoE smash face. And basically, I guess, uh, I guess the premise of the build is, is I'm going to jump in there, do an AoE damage hit, and try to get some life back. And, um, oh god. So I'm in a lot of trouble here. I can try damage as much as I can, but there's only so much I can do, guys. And we're just going to keep keep up our slams, because remember, as much as our thunderclaps go off, the, the more health we get back with the stuns that we're doing. Uh, sorry, with the AoE damage, so... And now that we've handled that, we really need to, we really need to get some of these seeds back. It's seed time, guys. It's seed time. Oh god. There we go. A little bit of stun. Stuns are all happening now. So I'm pretty much in a lot of trouble here. If not, I'm definitely dead. I'm running, I'm running for my life. Thanks for the heal there, pal. And we just got away with that. We just got away. I'm gonna have to half back, guys. I was, I was quite happy with that. I was quite happy with that play. I was quite happy. That was quite impressive. Um, in in terms of battling, we're, we're going quite well. It's, it, it is, it is, it is a close game. It, I would dare say it, it is in favour slightly of them, only for the fact that they do have quite a quite an impressive team to take us on in a team fight. Fortunately, fortunately, I think Illidan, can they save Barbie? Got to save Barbie. That's okay. We need to take advantage of this. We need to take the player. Looks like we might actually turn this one around, guys. I don't know how we've done it. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe a little bit more credit to Barbie. I don't know. I don't know. I think that push up there really, really took advantage of it. And I think we really need to go for the second tree. Well. Go for the face smash with the storm ball. With the storm ball. That's enough seeds, but you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna go top. I'm gonna go top. We've got that terror, but I really I really don't want them getting their terror. Come with me, someone. Barbie's got that. Barbie's got that. I just re I really don't want them to get a second terror. We've got a bit of a an advantage here, so I guess I guess I'm trying to keep them from from taking it back. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get a heal coming to our face. Oh my god! So here they come. It's a bit of chaos there, but basically, basically what I tried to do was um, throw a hammer to the face. I'm just gonna try to chase this guy down. Getting these creeps out of the way along the journey. Try to smash them down. By getting rid of these creeps, it's just gonna really assist with the down lane pushing. So we've got a bit of damage coming our way, but that's fine. So we, we should have hopefully we can get this fort. I'm going for the stun. I managed to get Kamza there. I just managed to get our Kamza. I got that cams are quite well. I'm quite happy with that. So I'm just going for the fort here. Really focusing as much damage as I can on that fort. Because remember, and I think we're going to go for the early resurrection. You know what? We, we don't really need to chain our damage. We just need to be able to come back quite fast to help our, help our team out with the fights. And, and I think if we can get the second fortress, we're going to take maximum value out of this push. Because remember, if you can at least get these fortresses down, you, you're going to get those catapult units. And by getting those catapult units, Really, just complimenting the way that. Oh my God! I try to get the stun on him. I'm just trying to really auto attack that tank down. I'm trying to because remember every third attack we're doing, it does complement us by allowing us to get the stun on them, and that, that, that stun really does assist. So I'm going for the stun. I've got the stun on Rayner, and that's it, guys. I think we did it. I don't know how we did it. Maybe hat off to Barbie, but we did it, guys. Uh, 
Uh, I don't know how we... T like I said, it, I think it, it really just turned around, and you can see how fast it is for a game like this to turn around. So I just... What I did there was pretty much jumped over... Jumped over the ultimate ability, which was supposed to push us away, and managed to get the stun off, which... We're starting to turn around with the Storm Bolts. What a match. Well done, Barbie. Well done, Barbie. I think I owe her some credit, some streak code to the, what she did. What she did. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the coverage of Muradin, and I hope you can see how fantastic this class is to play, even at level 1. And if you see anything else that you might want to like to view in terms of a build or something else you know about, please drop me a comment or like the video or subscribe to keep watching for further coverage. And thanks for watching.